hi all in this uds protocol series till now we have covered a diagnostic session control and tester present and this and in this video we will be covering ecu reset so uh, we will see what is ecu reset and why do we need it and also how sid of ecu reset looks like when positive and negative response are received so in this series i have already covered a diagnostic session control and uh, test present in my previous video so uh, that's security access i will talk about uh, in the next video so when uh, mainly we will be focusing on uh, issue reset so let's get started so uh, what is issue reset so it's a uh, service id is uh, 11 and it is in the uh, functional group is diagnostic and communication management so if i uh, take a simple example of what is ecu reset so let's think of when your uh, car comes to the garage and uh, your car has some problem and uh, it uh, you have taken your car to the garage or your service center so that uh, uh, diagnostic tool is connected to the car let's say some uh, diagnostic has done in in a car to fix the uh, problem okay and uh, uh, and to make new changes effective whatever changes or uh, whatever whatever changes has been done in in the service center uh, to make uh, to make new changes effective so in that case we, uh, we will do ECU reset ECU reset is like restarting your computer when it's not working properly so but in in in, in vehicle if the uh, electronic control unit is malfunctioning so uh, reset can often restore it to working order so the service is requested by a diagnostic tool and his uh, diagnostic tool and uh, the issue is not responding or has frozen that in that case uh, professional diagnostics at a service stations are needed so that is the issue so how uh, issue reset involves the following steps uh, so what is what happens the diagnostic to request the ECU to reset using this uh, service ID and then ECU sends a positive response before resetting and after the reset the ECU activates the default session so the ECU reset doesn't support default session ECU reset are performed are performed in extended diagnostic sessions so remember that point so uh, this is the ECU uh, EC. so this is the ECU reset uh, request ID Requ uh, request a service ID and response ID plus 40 that is 51 so uh, there are uh, there are major, mainly five uh, sub functions so but important are only 0, 01 0, 02 and 0, 03 hard reset key on, key on off reset and software reset so if I talk about hard reset so hard reset it's uh, uh, let's say issue reset is 11 and uh, it's a function is 01 so when you do a uh, request from your diagnostic tool to issue client here i have written client tested to request is requesting to server that is your issue so what is hard reset so uh, if i take a real world example imagine your smartphone is completely unresponsive so so you remove the battery and put it back uh, and put it back into restart restart it a hard reset is similar it cuts off the power and reconnects it Re reinstalling both volatile and non-volatile memory so if uh, the request id is 11 sub function is 0 and positive response will look like like this and if uh, it is there is negative response so that in that case 7f and sub function is 11 and there are a nrc you have requested this 1101 and in, in response you will get this one 5101 but if it is negative response here uh, server response to client test tool is your is you is giving a response to your uh, diagnostic tool so in that case it, it will be 7f 11 as a function and uh, one more in rc here how hard reset looks like when positive response is received so let's say uh, 279 here is your uh, message id 11 you are requesting you are doing hard reset here 1101 
and in response you will get plus uh, plus 40 added in the SID there that is 5101 means uh, you have successfully performed the hard reset but what if uh, uh, when you get a negative response so you have you have requested this uh, SID 1101 but in response you will get this uh, 7F1122 so here uh, 7f is indicating your uh, negative response here 51 is uh, indicating positive response but here so 7f is uh, indicating negative response 11 is your sid and 22 is your nrc nrc means condition 22 that is uh, condition not correct so th there are multiple nrc but here i have taken this 22 so here 22 condition not correct means uh, let's say your uh, while car uh, car is running or uh, you are driving your car and you are trying to do uh, this uh, this uh, uh, hard reset so in that case you will get this response 7f 1122 similarly you can get uh, other uh, nrc also based on the condition like sub function not supported incorrect message length or invalid format and security access denied so this security access de denied i will explain in the next uh, next video uh, but uh, 12 and 13 I, I had explained in uh, diagnostic session uh, uh, diagnostic se uh, session control in uh, in previous video i will provide the link of that video in the description you can go and watch so like this hard reset will be done so so if uh, if i talk about a key off on reset that is a second uh, sub function this is a key off on the reset so if i take a real world example let's say think of uh, turning uh, turning off uh, your computer properly uh, and waiting a few seconds and then turning it back on so that is uh, but if i take example of car so this is like turning the ignition on and off now in, in using that using key you are just turning ignition on and off and allowing the ECU to save data and power down correctly and turning the ignition back uh, back to on so key of on the reset uh, will be done so if I uh, take so here uh, the sub function will be 0 to <coughs> ECU reset <coughs> and <coughs> positive response will be 51 same as the previous hard reset and request ID is 7F in the negative response case so if I take, uh, if I uh, show you this uh, positive response, uh, so eleven zero two instead of zero uh, one, and plus forty will be added in in the positive response. So that is fifty one zero two, and in negative response same uh, instead of zero one in in the in the hard reset case it will be zero two, and in uh, so key on of reset seven f eleven twenty two. So 22 I had explained well, while car is moving and you are uh, you are uh, doing key on off reset. So in that case you will get this NRC. And the third one is soft reset. So soft reset that sub function uh, sub function is 03. So 11 03. And when you get uh, so uh, if I talk about if i take real world example of soft reset so it is like similar to uh, restarting a program on your computer without turning off the whole system so the ecu restart its main application program similar like uh, similar to a reboot that refreshes the system so in soft reset rom will be retained and ram will be cleared and in hard reset rom and ram both uh, both will be will be cleared so uh, so in, in 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 some interview they ask a question about how what is the difference between hard reset and soft reset so hard reset is like uh, restarting uh, in the uh, restarting uh, your desktop using that hard that uh, restart button in that in hard reset uh, rom and ram will be both will be cleared or uh, both volatile and non-volatile memory will be reset but in soft reset uh, you are sim restarting a program on your computer without turning off the whole system okay so in in the soft reset rom will be retained but ram will be cleared so uh, how uh, soft reset response will look like so here it is same like a uh, hard reset and soft re uh, key on of reset and hard reset instead of 0 2 you can write uh, you can write 0 3 here 0 3 
zero three and instead of zero three. So N R C will be also will be same while your car is moving and you are doing uh, soft reset. So you will get this seven F eleven twenty two. So instead of uh, zero two, you can uh, try zero zero three zero four and zero five uh, like this. So uh, till now uh, we I we have covered hard reset key key on off reset soft uh, soft reset. So this zero one zero two zero three his are the most important. And if I talk about enable the rapid power shutdown and uh, disable the rapid power shutdown. So what is this enable the rapid power shutdown? So let's say uh, imagine putting your laptop into sleep mode. Then ECU remains powered by the battery, but not by the ignition. So it's ready to wake up quickly when needed. So it's it is like in it is in sleeping mode. So enable rapid power shutdown. And what about uh, disable rapid power shutdown? So this is like changing your laptop setting uh, to prevent it from going into sleep mode automatically. Okay, here changing you are disabling your laptop setting to prevent it from going into sleep mode automatically. Here uh, in zero four it is in uh, going into sleep mode, but here. You are preventing it. You are disabling the settings of the laptop. So the diagnostic tool disables the rapid power shutdown that was previously enabled. So that uh, that is the difference between enable and disable. So you can try hard reset, key on off reset, and software reset. So this is the uh, ECU reset. Uh, in this uh, in this video, uh, I explained. So uh, in the next video, I will talk about. Uh, security access.